it will be the biggest house I've ever built. Behind me is a 370 square metre home that we're currently building. It's in a new build subdivision here in Upper Hutt. We're here to talk to the builder, check on the digger driver, and then we'll take a look inside. Where's he hiding? He's, a, he's allergic to the rain. Secret code for the key. Let me in. So you come into a grand entranceway. On the back wall, we're gonna have a stairway up to the upstairs level. So on the very first set of plans, this was gonna be a loft. There was gonna be an office over there and a bathroom over there. On one of our early site visits with the client, as soon as the roof was on and the window spacings were there, we looked in and we like, this would make an amazing spot for a master bedroom. So we changed everything and we moved it all up here. We moved the walk-in wardrobe over to there. We moved the ensuite over to there. And we've then since built this TV wall. We can do whatever you want, whenever you want. And we can make whatever changes. We can even build a house and then take a window out and turn it into a wall or vice versa. That's called a renovation. Just people don't usually do renovations on new builds straight away. What I've had to do is change my approach on this build. When you're dealing with a larger build and a client that wants to make the changes and has the resources available to do that, you've got to be flexible enough to just be like, yep, we'll sort that out. It's definitely a different approach to building and it doesn't come without its challenges and you've got to make sure you're all over all your communication and all your documentation and every person's been talked to. But we're definitely getting there and this house is on the track to being finished. So on this one here, we've gone for a rock coat and we've also got a product called Hard as Rocks. It's just every stone's individually placed, but it's on a cavity system. And around the corner, we've got linear oblique random pattern of skinny wide boards. Is there any more of those planks? Yes, there is. Yep. Ground. It'll go up. Oh, yeah. Could we get a smaller, the smaller roller higher, the yeah, upper hut? Can do. And then the spark is going to need it. Is there lights in the ceiling? No. On my right is the living quarters, and on my left is the downstairs bedrooms. Boys are doing a real good job of the jib and we're going to start stacking interior plaster and then we start moving on to interior finishing. Huge big skylight here will get installed and kitchen island bench here, cabinets along here, scullery. Now would be a perfect time for you to go ahead and click subscribe. I think it's just four bedrooms. Just like the Margaret Mayhe house, gone for a higher stud and a higher um, internal door height, external joinery. 2.2 meters there, 2.55 there. 2.4 is the standard usually. This is the most important part though, a huge big garage. Pretty sure it's 7.2 wide by eight deep. And then through there, we've got a little workshop and that has been future proof that it could get turned into a self-contained studio. And we've got the site microwave. This is Smoko yet. You know what I like to do at Smoko, as well as eating pies and drinking coffee? I like to write down my thoughts about industry, business, things I've learned over the last 10 years. I'm putting them in a mailing list nzbuilder.co.nz slash smokochat. <clears throat> In a perfect world, you'd put all of your time and energy into thinking about the concept while it's just on a couple of pieces of paper. And you would then make your working drawings, your plans that you're gonna build the house off, perfect. And then you'd do no changes on site. But we all know it's not a perfect world, and even when I built my own house, 
I changed so many things on the fly. I propped my roof up and moved my entire lounge slider a meter to the left to capture my view on the section over the wanted of the hills across the valley. Your ideas evolve and get better as you start to have time to see it come to life. On a big two-story build like this, you have the scaffold up for ages, and so it's so cool to have dropped the scaffold and finally be able to walk around the whole property, start to clear it out and get ready for landscaping. We met the landscaping designer yesterday and we've got a plan underway. Just getting the client to sign off that is going to be amazing. Deck, spa pool area, car pads. So we had the digger driver on site yesterday and he's clearing out this and leveling it. It doesn't look like it, but he's done quite a bit. The entire back half of the section is being raised about 400 mils to be in line with the existing ground around the protected tree. It seems I either get sloping sites or protected tree sites. Okay, 